Now, so let's talk about sodium. We've mentioned that word sodium. Is salt, so what is salt? Salt is actually sodium chloride, and so sodium is a component of salt, and it's kind of the bad one that we, that we want to kind of be careful about. So we want to get sodium low. Now, from a medical standpoint, sodium holds on to fluid. If we eat too much sodium, the kidneys can't get rid of it. There's about a million little uh, funneling things in the kidneys mm -hmm. called glomeruli, and if they can't handle all that sodium, it gets in the bloodstream, can cause high blood pressure. And so tell me about sodium. Uh, what's the DASH diet in sodium and how much is too much? So we really want to, the recommendations from the dietary guidelines say to stay under about 2,300 milligrams in a day for an individual. And actually there's a special subgroup, which is actually a huge group, to keep it under 1,500. And that includes individuals over 51, African Americans, people with diabetes, and those are at risk for heart disease and kidney disease. So that's a huge subgroup that can, is probably about half American population right there. It, it is, because we're getting older and older, and so we need to have less and less salt. Well, you said 2,300 milligrams. What do you have to eat to get 23? You've had to get whole salt shakers and drink it or what? That's right. Well, and actually 2,300 <laughs> milligrams is only a teaspoon a of salt. Teaspoon a teaspoon of salt? A teaspoon of salt. So if you are adding any salt with your salt shaker, you better bet you're well above the recommendation. Wow. So, so I, then what's, what's we have to be careful of is the sodium that's added to our foods. In addition, of course, what we salt on shaker on there. And if you have high blood pressure, we probably just need to get that off the table and use a substitute or go without. So do you allow anybody to use a salt shaker and salt their foods? Do you tell them you're going to get enough salt in your foods anyway? Most people are going to get all that they need for that purpose. Let's look at some foods that are bad in salt. Um, hand me those Cheetos. Okay, good. Uh, <laughs> how about good old Cheetos? <laughs> they, everybody loves Cheetos. Do they have a lot of salt in them? They do. Let's check the label. The best thing you can do if you have a question is you can check the nutrition facts label on the back of the panel and you can see sodium is clearly listed on there. So this label says 290 milligrams. That's about 300 for about 21 little pieces of Cheetos. <laughs> so if you just got a couple of handfuls or a handful, you're going to have 300 milligrams. So you'd have to eight times that would give you your 24. And when, what we really got to be careful of is processed products. And processed is kind of a complicated word, but that aisle in the grocery store that has the things that are already made for you, like chilies and, and um, pastaroni and things that you make that are already kind of pre-made for you. A lot of times those have added sodium, as well as when we go to grocery, I mean to restaurants. That's How a whole other story. about bologna and ham yes. and the processed meats? Absolutely. Processed meats are very high in sodium also. So, so we, we just have to stay away from those? Well, we can just have to use it certainly in moderation. There's some things you can do, like in canned foods, you can buy no salt added or low sodium. There's lots of, um, available now in the market for people that are trying to watch that. So tell me how to eat food that doesn't have salt. What do I have to have for breakfast, lunch, and supper? Well, it's, it, if you're on the very restricted as far as below 1,500 milligrams, again, which includes a lot of people, it's sometimes easiest to make a lot of things at your house, to know what you're controlling. For instance, having a cereal in the morning with, the, with that shredded wheat has very little sodium. The whole, good whole grain and yeah. high fiber cereals that we'd like to encourage anyway are generally lower in sodium. And so we can certainly have those choices. Whole grain products, fruits, vegetables throughout the day are always good choices. The snack foods and the processed foods are things we just want to check that label. And especially, you can very easily get a can of soup or chili and get well over the recommendation in just one or two servings. And that doesn't even include anything else you're eating that day. So we really have to be careful.